What is going on guys? Welcome back to your Lake Fork Guide. Hey, today we're going on a little road trip. We're going to head out for the next couple days to Lake Ray Roberts. We're going to preview the Bassmaster Classic coming up here in a few weeks. Since it's in Texas, do we now call it El Clasico? Hopefully everybody is excited because guys, it is almost time for the 2021 Bassmasters Classic here in the great state of Texas at beautiful Lake Ray Roberts where you see me sitting now. It is a beautiful lake. It's got a lot of hazards in the water as you can see behind me as well. This lake has an abundance of timber in a lot of areas. So uh, this first day that we're going to be out here, you're actually going to see, uh, you might see another buddy of mine a boat around us. His name is Michael Burnside. Kudos to him. Appreciate him helping me out. He showed up the first day I was out here to uh, help me navigate the lake. We really spent a ton of time just running all over the lake uh, so that I could get trails, so that I could navigate them over the next couple days while I'm out here. And what today's video is going to be is just a, a full preview. We're going to give you uh, a couple days worth of fishing. Well, really, it's be about a day and a half worth of fishing on Lake Ray Roberts. We're going to fish a little bit of everything. We're not going to dial in and try to hammer down on the fish. It's going to be kind of like a pre-fishing video. We're going to look for spawning fish. We're going to look for shallow fish. We're going to look for deep fish, in between fish, shad spawn. We're going to try to hit a little bit of everything to really give you guys a full look at what Ray Roberts is doing right now and hopefully be able to put together uh, some idea of what kind of classic we're going to be able to see. I'll tell you this. I've never been on this lake in my entire life until now i've always heard there's really big bass in lake ray roberts but i've also heard that this lake can be a very difficult fishery to dial in the patterns on uh to be consistent on and, and just to catch fish in general catch bass in general it, it's known to be a really tough fishery but <laughs> every time you see a tournament out here somebody catches a few big ones and the weights are usually really big on best five stringers so i'm looking forward to it i love targeting bigger bass it, it's something that i'm crazy about i'd rather catch five over five than 35 under five uh that's just how i'm built man i really like the big bass factor so ray roberts has always intrigued me it's a pretty good long ways away from my house i've just never had a reason to get over here but with the classic coming up i had to get out here and see what it was all about and i wanted to share that with all you guys today And oh yeah, in case you haven't noticed, we got Skeeterbug, the fishing pup, tagging along for the whole journey. I was lucky enough to find an Airbnb that was okay with dogs, so I got to bring my best fishing buddy with me today. What do you think? You excited to be here? That's, that's pretty close. Do you have to be this close? Really? You need to be that close to me? I love you too, Skeet. Skeeter likes fishing. We're going fishing, guys. <laughs> So surprise, surprise, I show up to a brand new lake I've never been to. And what's the first thing I do? Go looking for bedfish. We've got a pair over here. I'm going to see if I can catch at least one of them. Hopefully I can catch both of them. There we go. There's a male. There's the little one up there. Old Ray Roberts best got a little fight in him now. Yeah, Skeeter. Yeah, Skeeter Bug. There you go. Get your lick, baby. Go get that old belly lick. <laughs> oh, Skeeter. It's been a while since I've gotten to take Skeeter out. So here's the little male. We'll give y'all a good look at him. Give Skeeter one more belly lick. Give him an ear scratch and a belly lick, folks. I'll definitely come back and see you when you do all that. Little tail lick, belly lick. There it is. Ear scratch and a belly lick. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, Skeeter Bug. Good girl. So, I'll tell you guys something, man. You know, I've often said it really doesn't matter. The type of bait you use on a bed it's just about being something short and compact but one thing that i've always said is important is, is having red i had run out of my watermelon red stroker cross and i was throwing watermelon blue 
And those fish just weren't really responding to it. I sat there 15. And the female that's in there is bigger than him. She's a pretty decent fish. You know, he's a decent little male. The female's in there pretty darn good fish. But I changed over to a watermelon red six cents prawn. Of course, we put the red bead on there. But when I got that red flake bait in there and I added that red bead, immediately a different attitude. It took me three minutes to hook that fish after I did that. So that red's a real deal on a bit, I'm telling y'all. we go. Come on, baby. Just stay pinned. I didn't get a very good hook set on her. Oh, gosh. She come off. It was like a six-pounder, I think. Hopefully, we got some good jumps on camera anyway. Golly. Spent all that time on her. I knew I didn't get a very good hook set on her. She just wouldn't ever bite the bait very good, Mike. I've got a not bass. That's what I've got, folks. Not a bass. What he's got me around still, he's gonna get my square bill. He's got me around a lay down. I don't know if it's a carp. Or a gar. Whatever it is, it's really strong. He's got me wrapped around a lay down and I don't want to lose my square bill. It's amazing this cranking line hadn't broke yet. This ain't the strongest line in the world. Oh God, it's a big bass. Oh, it's just a hammer. Look at that thing. He's tired from pulling against that log for so long. I thought it was a carp or something because I saw how white it was. Good grief. Come on, big baby. It's a stud. Oh, Ray Roberts stud. Let's go on the square bill. some good ones in this lake folks hey this is our first time we've ever been on ray roberts in our life i got my buddy michael burnside like i told y'all he's been helping me navigate the lake today and of course you know we're just kind of cruising around and fishing what he knows right now because he's just showing me where he knows how to navigate and uh Get a good look at that one right there. That's a freaking stud, y'all. That's an absolute stud right there. I bet there's some boys fishing the classic be sure enough happy to have that one right there in their bag. Big one. What about it, Skeeter? The, yeah, yeah, Dad, that's a big one. Great, great fish right there. My goodness. Skeeter, watch out. Get down. Down. Great fish right there. Let me uh, give this one a drink. I want to get a picture of this. Then we'll talk. All right, so obviously an awesome fish catch there. You guys saw the big one we just jumped off. We've, we really haven't been here that long. And like we spent the vast majority of our time with Mike just showing me some trails and getting me around the lake a little bit. We've actually ran quite a bit of the lake already today uh, in the few hours that we've been here. But actually, we haven't been here. We've been here two hours how long we've been here. So, I mean, this is starting off really well considering we've probably only fished for maybe like 45 minutes. And we've got one in the boat about six pounds or maybe more. And we got another one about that size that we jumped off. Plus we caught that solid keeper male. Like, man, Ray Roberts has got some, I'm kind of a fan 
of what's going on out here at Raybob. I think what's happening in this area that we've come into here is, as you can see, it's just a shallow, flat area, spawning type area. But I think the fish, the water's a little warmer here, the water's a little dirty here. I think maybe the fish have done their spawning deal. We're kind of up north on the lake right now. And there seems to be like there, there's just an abundance of shad. Like the shad are just popping in this cove where they were. When I got in this stretch, and I just caught that one out of the shad, we're just popping in this stretch. And uh, I think maybe in the morning time, there's probably a shad spawn going on. And those shad are just backed out off the bank a little bit, just kind of hanging around. And old big girl was up under the shade tree right here resting, and that square bill came in there and disrupted her her deal. And uh, she no likey the square bill too much, but we sure likey how she no likey the square bill. You know what I'm saying? Pretty good stuff. I like Ray Bob. This is going to be a fun weekend, y'all. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Nothing blowing up on it, though. Oh! oh. <laughs> Something real small, whatever it is. Little baby white bass. Quit wiggling. Little spiky sucker, quit it. Lee hit it hard. Don't feel very big though. Hope it's not another white bass. It's another white bass. White bass and treble hooks, my favorite thing on earth. Let's go. Skeeter no. White bass and treble hooks. We're chasing a shad spawn this morning, folks. Oh Lee, there's a bunch of fish right there. You about ready to run over sand? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. That's that, that, that. Hold on. That's a head shaker there. It's a good one. That's old good one. I got him right on top of his snout. Golly. Man, he's pulling so hard because he's foul hooked. Skeeter, what do we got? <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't do much with him on this medium action rod with him foul hooked. Oh crap. Man, the fish won't quit, Dave. Golly, he's got to be tired. Here he is. Here he is. Come see me, baby girl. There we go, Skeeter. Check that out. Huh? How about that to start the morning right there? Watch out, baby girl. Get back. Back. It's like, Dad, that one's good. That one tastes good. Oh, a little square bill on the shad spawn first thing in the morning. That's a good fish right there. Give that one a ear scratch. Skeeter, what you think, huh? Yeah, that's a good one, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's checking it out. All right. Good way to start the morning right there. You excited? Skeeter, you're so excited. <laughs> down, down, down. Hey, down. Dave, wave to everybody. 
That's my boy David Rosequist. He's going to be kind of hanging out with us today like Mike was yesterday. He's just going to put... We got trails from Mike yesterday. David actually lives in DFW. He's a good friend of mine. And we're just going to kind of pile around and fish together. We're out here trying to chase a shad spawn this morning. There's a bunch of windblown points, as you see behind us, and then a windblown ridge right here. And uh, caught a couple white bass real quick and then caught that good one right there, about a five-pounder to start the day. So that's a pretty good way. We had, we had that big one get off yesterday. We caught that big one. Like, I'm not getting, like, I haven't caught very many fish out of, out of Ray Roberts, and I've already caught, or I've caught and, and hooked two sixes and a five, and I've hardly caught any fish out of here, like, this might be a tough lake to figure out, but I'll tell you this, I kind of like, <laughs> the quality is, is pretty worth it, it's pretty awesome, so, we're just going to chase this shad spawn a little bit this morning, and then, uh, who knows what we'll do the rest of the day, we're going to try and figure it out. Got another one. Oh, he come off. That's another good one. That was another one of them head shakers. It just stopped it, shook his head. Golly, come off. There he is. Good and stay pinned, baby. Might just be a big old white the way he's fighting. And he's not really pulling it. I think it's a white. Oh, it's old Jasper. Jasper Goo. Jasper, Goo. Jasper. Skeeter, you don't want to lick that one, I promise. Ah, no, Skeeter. We're catching all the species today, Dave. Jasper's got to eat shed too. Oh God, it's strong. It ain't jumping. It's acting goofy, whatever it is. It's another big drum. We're on the Jasper hole. We'd be winning. This one's about a seven, eight pounder. No, I lied. He's about a six pounder. Skeeter, no. You can't have that one. Sorry. That don't even come in the boat. That's nasty fish. So nasty fish. Look at this. This is what we out here catching. Big old freshwater drum. Ridiculous. It is definitely, definitely, definitely going down. That one nick that one nicked my line too. Dad, come here, retie again. Just had to retie after the last Jasper. But the shed spun deal is definitely happening in a big way right here on this spot this morning. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not catching very many bass. We're we're catching a lot of sand bass and caught two Gasper goose. Freshwater drums right in a row. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I can't leave something like this because, I mean, the shad are here. At Dave, David's over there across from me. He's done snagged three or four shad. I snagged one. Caught that one big bass. <laughs> Dave's caught a couple little small bass over there. So it's happening every way you want it to happen. We're just not getting the right species right now. There we go. There we go. Oh, big jump. Not a bad fish. Very cool. Skeeter, chill. Calm down, you're gonna get a trouble hook. Skeeter's a little too fired up this morning. She can see him. Ah, no, back, back. Off the rods. Stop it, Skeeter. There we go. 
There you go, folks at home. Nice one right there. Go ahead, get a belly lick. We got to do it right. We got to give him a belly lick and an ear scratch. <laughs> I'll be honest with y'all. I kind of like Ray Roberts. I kind of like Ray Roberts. Oh. Oh, he missed it. Oh, he missed it again. No, he didn't. He got it that time. He got it that time. Okay. It's a little guy. This is so much fun, though. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. Skeeter, hold on. What's your turn, Skeeter Bug? Sucker. Somebody broke off on him, and he swallowed the bait. Let's get that line out of him. Or just cut the line as short as we can, anyway. I see that so that fishing line hanging out of him. Quit now, quit now, Skeeter. Quit now. Get as much of that fishing line as we can. All right, get your belly licking here, scratch. Right there. There you go, folks, little guy. Skeeter, you gone. It's crazy. I'm seeing these fish. Look at them out there. I'm seeing them on the daggum live scope. And then right where I saw them, right where I just casted, but I casted too far, they came up and busted right in front of me. It's wild. <laughs> Golly, how does he go? Bless America. What is that? A catfish? Holy cow, did he hit it hard. I got it hooked in the tail, whatever, yeah. Some catfish spawning in here out here swiping at my chatterbait. <laughs> no, Skeeter, you're not going to lick this one. No, ma'am. <laughs> what a mess. I'll come back here in a real shallow flat. This pocket is really shallow and flat. In the back of the pocket, the water's super dirty. In the back of this pocket, the water's super dirty, but there's tons of coontail grass in this pocket. And I was seeing some surface activity, and, and a lot of it I've seen, you know, there's some carp in here. And obviously, there's some catfish in here. There's probably some catfish spawning in here in this dirty water uh, on this real shallow flat. It's super shallow flat. And, uh, I don't know. Hopefully we can run into a bass or two. It looks awesome just because, you know, the water color's not great, but there's so much grass, and that's kind of unique for Ray Roberts. There's not a lot of areas that I've seen so far that have a ton of grass, and this area is a big area with a lot of grass. So hopefully we can maybe get on the outside edge of it here in a minute or something and find some bass. Well, I guess you could say Lake Roberts lived up to its billing. We caught several, like a few really good fish. And like I said, the first day, not a lot of fishing. We really only fished for maybe an hour of our time on the first day. We spent most of that half day that I was here on the first day running the lake and teaching me how to navigate safely. Second day though, we fished hard. Like all day fished hard and not the best results we didn't catch a lot of fish but there were but there was some big ones caught so i don't know i don't know it's it ray roberts has lived up to exactly what i've heard that it is very challenging fishery as far as getting bites but very quality bass when you do get some bites uh, if you look at the number of bigs we caught compared to the number of bites we got you extrapolate that over somebody that gets on a good bite and catches 15 or 20 a day he's going to have a sack folks so uh, don't know exactly, you know, the classic's going to be very interesting. In fact, we're going to do a second video where I'm really going to break down everything I found because what you didn't see, the, we just didn't have time to get to it all in today's video. So we're going to do a second video uh, really detailing the preview of the classic. But this is a very big and diverse and complex fishery. There's a lot of different types of structure. There's a lot of different, there's 
limited amounts, but lots of different types of vegetation in the lake. Uh, obviously, there's tons of timber that correlates with a lot of the structure. There's a lot of rock in this lake, which is something I'm not used to fishing in East Texas. And so it's a really complex fishery, and we're going to break all that down. And it's going to make for an interesting classic, and I really want to hope you guys are looking forward to the preview because it should be a good one. It's just there's so much going on here. Uh, it's going to make this classic kind of wide open, I think. And we'll talk about that more in Wednesday's video. But as for today, man, I hope you enjoyed the action. Skeeter bug got excited a couple times, got to lick a few fish. I had a great time out here. It's a beautiful lake. We've had lovely weather every day that I've been here uh, the last two days. And now today I'm out here on a third day. And to be honest with you, I'm doing some talking segments. And I'm going to turn this camera off. And me and Skeeter are going to go play without the cameras on. That's something I'm trying to do more these days. You know, for several years... I was always either had guide customers in the boat or I had the pressure to put fish on camera because I needed it for my business promotion for the YouTube channel. And, and something I've been doing here a little bit lately, and I've only got to do it a couple times, but I'm really trying to take time when I get the opportunity to just go fishing with no pressure, no cameras, no, go, no customers, uh, just me doing what I started doing when I began this sport and my passion for it, which is just being on the water. And whether I catch them or I don't, I always come away from those days feeling relaxed, feeling refreshed, loving my time. It doesn't matter if I pull out in the middle of this cove, spot lock it and take a nap. I'm going to enjoy the day. And uh, me and Skeeter may get out and do some swimming. It's getting pretty warm. So we're going to have a good time the rest of the day. But I appreciate you guys watching this. And I hope you enjoyed it, obviously. And, and Maybe I hope it helps you understand Ray Roberts a little better. It, it, really, the biggest thing that I hope out of this video is that I hope it brings a little bit of extra enjoyment to the Bassmaster coverage when you're watching Bassmaster. It'll be on live coverage on Bassmaster.com. Of course, it'll be on FS1 in the morning hours over the weekend. Uh, so tune in for that. It should be a good one. Also, check out Wednesday's video. We're really going to break down everything that we found in detail, talk about all the different structures and vegetation and all that stuff. So. Well, one last thing, every spot that you guys saw us catch fish on today, uh, I told you guys earlier on the video, I was really going to lean on the Fish Life app. Hey, all these spots that you're seeing us catch these fish on are featured on the Fish Life app. So if you guys want to know where we caught some of these big fish, you can go download the Fish Life app for free, go to the Ray Roberts premium package, subscribe to that, and you'll be able to see some of these spots where we're catching these big fish because we did catch a few big ones. So. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Thank y'all so very much for watching. Uh, go check out our sponsors link below, sixcentsfishing.com. If you go to that one, be sure you punch in the code your Lake Fort Guy to get a 10% discount on all orders. Skeeter Bud, you want to do the outro? Come here. Come here. Tell them. Come on up here. Come on up here. She's out. Look at her. <laughs> She's just rolling. She's like, does that mean hold my hands up, Dad? Does that mean hold my hands up? <laughs> hey, man. Thank you guys for watching once again. We'll see you next time right here on your Lake Fort Guy.